Hello Wolfpack and welcome to my God of War Ragnarok review video and yes there might be some spoilers so spoiler warning if you cannot handle any spoilers whatsoever it is your time to click off now. Still here, good, nice, it is time to dive into the review from a perspective of a new player to the franchise as the title might give it away already. Well not totally new last time I played God of War. It was around 2006 or something like that with the PlayStation 2, so the first God of War ever. So I am pretty out of the loop already and what I heard, this game was supposed to be continuation for the 2018 game. So I was diving into the game with the expectation that I will be completely lost at some parts of the story, but gosh, I was wrong. It was really easy to follow, really smooth. And I wasn't as lost as I was thinking at first. The first playthrough I was playing on balanced. I started my second save with give me God of War I know ambitious. On the first save I already completed everything. Rebel leader who knew also I already have some guides, short videos and more are coming. So stay tuned for those ones. And let me know in the comments down below, have you already played God of War Ragnarok? What are your opinions about the game? Are you on PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4? Speaking about the consoles, personally I am playing on PlayStation 4 and no, not even the pro version with 3D pulse headset from PlayStation. And sadly, my TV doesn't support HDR, yet still the graphics are looking still pretty amazing, at least to me. I really did enjoy the experience with this game, graphic wise, gameplay wise, combat, story, pretty much everything. And no, I'm not sponsored to say that or anything in that matter, not even remotely. Before going deeper, I really wanted to say the cons of the game, at least the cons for me, very big thing that is not in the game, not just yet, it is the lack of photo mode, it is coming, so that is a huge plus, but for now, it sucks that we don't have it because I really enjoy spending time in the photo mode, taking amazing pictures, at least in my opinion they are amazing, well most of them at least. And speaking about the graphics, even when enlarging the screen from the PlayStation settings, I can still see like small black outlinings all over the screenshots, all over the videos, when playing it is not that noticeable, but when trying to edit, when trying to share the screenshots, it is disturbing. I don't know how to fix it. So if you have any other tips than enlarging as far as the PlayStation settings allows me to go, let me know in the comments down below how I can fix that because that is starting to be annoying. I can totally live with that one. It is just extra hassle, but like I said, it doesn't matter when you are playing the game. Also, I have experienced only I think one or two crashes. Honestly, only a couple of minor visual glitches slash bugs like disappearing axe, spear, blades in inventory menu. So that is not huge deal and stuff like that. So really, really, really minor things. And another thing that is not to my taste of liking you cannot unlock or collect everything in so many locations as we just did see there are so many maps most of them are pretty huge big areas the navigation it is okay but i was wishing that we actually could pinpoint things on the map so that is near pro or con in my opinion so you have to progress through the story in order to get the rest of the stuff and why I'm saying this, I spent so much time trying to figure out what I did miss. But yeah, that is a small thing and it is totally on me that I didn't realize it earlier. That I have to progress through the story in order to get everything. As a new player to the God of War, that was the lesson I had to learn the hard way. And Kratos just did look like a rock star. <laughs> Sorry for awful impression. After knowing that fact, everything went much easier, so that was really, really, really minor thing. Even when I'm trying to think of more cons for this game, I absolutely just can't. Overall, the game, it is 
pretty perfectly balanced and I actually wouldn't be surprised if God of War Ragnarok would win the game of the year award. The environment, enemies, NPCs are really well made in my opinion. Perhaps too well as I will explain. Only annoying thing with the NPCs, well your close companions like Atreus, Freya. I have noticed this and I think if you are playing this game you have noticed this as well. They are starting to help you way, way too soon with the puzzles. It is confusing, it is distracting and it is taking some fun out of the game. But at some point you actually might tune them out when you are trying to solve the puzzles. And about the puzzles, I am really happy that in the settings we are having auto loot. Also extended time and extended time plus for puzzle solving timing. For example, tests of Nornir. Yeah, some of them are pretty much a headache if you don't get perfect aiming perfect throw for every three bell thing is yeah that is some hardcore material right there so that is not for me definitely understanding the people who are up to the challenge for those but yeah it is really good to have options when starting the game inside the game you can turn them off and on whenever you want you can change the difficulty whenever you want except if you are playing with give me card of war difficulty once changed it cannot be changed back to the nightmare mode that being said what comes to the game starting of it yeah it was full of action and trust me the action won't stop there throughout the game there's action almost everywhere with regular enemies mini bosses side bosses and actual bosses so a lot of fighting a lot of story in almost perfect harmony and the cutscenes they are definitely worth watching conversations definitely worth listening so don't skip anything and just by waiting here and there there is also hidden conversations so nice little easter eggs nice little hidden features here and there the story of the game in whole it is flowing really nicely Going in nice balance, characters they are evolving as on individuals, this is from my point of view. So if you had different experience than me, in any way let me know in the comments down below. What did you feel about the game, about the cinematics, because for me, sometimes my heart was pounding like crazy. I was pretty sure I was gonna go in cardiac arrest, sometimes I felt like crying, sometimes I just burst laughing out loud and sometimes the game was just wow that is honest quote unquote brutal review of that one in recap without spoiling too much so yeah there are twists and turns sometimes even when you are not expecting them well some of the things you may see coming or not for me there was couple moments where i was pretty accurate predicting what is gonna happen in that and that scene. I thought it could be fun to show you guys a couple scene from the first hour. I know there's not everything, not even the context for something. So let's take a look of the scenes from the first hour. Let's go. Go. 
ظروفنا أفرع تيسو صوفا حيطان صوفنا moment alone with Fenrir before I bury him. Atreus, where are you? Consider your blood debt paid. Let's see you to anyone who's new, that was just the first hour for me. This Bjark Stormer was actually the end game. I did finish the secret bosses way, way, way too late. And also, if you want to test your skills, there is some huge arenas with the timers, with enemy limits different enemies, different bosses in Muspelheim and yeah, that can be actually really fun test out builds, test out your skills and so much more by the way, for the laborers using these arenas it is one of the best ways to do so so, more will be coming regarding God of War Ragnarok but I really need to talk about Atreus and my opinions and thoughts about him so if you are keen to see that ring that notification bell so you don't miss when the video comes out I just have so much to talk about him about the future of him that some of you may or may not agree with me but that's totally fine before we are ending this video I'm actually gonna give this really 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 high score I think I will go with solid 9 out of 10 overall score for God of War Ragnarok really epic game absolutely one of my favorites what has been released so far so it was good experience i highly recommend of you playing this game hopefully god of war ragnarok will be coming on pc much sooner than the 18 version for now i really want to thank my channel members aka the Elite group back. you guys are really making a huge difference also if you want to become part of the elites there's join button below this video with different levels but for now let's roll the outro Thanks for watching, remember to hit the like, hit the sub, turn on the notifications so you won't ever miss anything that I upload or when I go live. Also Wolfpack, have fun, stay safe, be strong, hope to see you in the next one, Skatha, over and out and bye bye. <laughs>